G'day guys, I've got a hybrid workout for you today, or hybrid picking. You could also use this as a finger style workout if you prefer not playing with a pick and just playing with your fingers. So then you'd probably use um, your thumb and your first two fingers like something like this. It would sound great on a nylon string um, acoustic or a steel string acoustic. This, this could be a really versatile, it's got a bit of a classical kind of vibe to it, neoclassical, whatever you want to call it. Um, just two chords being outlined, B minor and F sharp major. It's about very, very one to five sort of thing, minor one to five. I hear that all the time, all sorts of music. Um, all right, so you take that B minor chord, that typical bar chord shape. We get rid of the power chord section of it and just look at the, the top. B, D, F sharp. All right, we've got that repeated line that's pl being played by the, the fingers. And then we've just got a shifting bass line moving around it. Um, and this is just going to get your hybrid picking or your finger picking really into great shape because it's just so repetitive. Okay, start with that uh, B minor arpeggio. It's really just that times three, three times. Nine, nine. 10, 9. Just that with the uh, those two notes in between. And I was doing a bit of a dynamic thing where I'd do the B minor sort of quietly and build up to really loud on the F sharp. There's a little connecting passage there. So that's with the open B and E. Okay, and then it's a very similar pattern, but just major instead of minor. So we've got that shape, F sharp. And the connecting back down, I've gone to like a diminished run. Now the cool thing with diminished chords is that they are symmetrical. So you take that one shape, and you can move that shape around in, in fourth fret or min minor third um, intervals. And you just get the same um, inversions of notes. So that is the same as that, 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 and so on. Alright, enjoy! <laughs> 